Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a video with you, liquid fuel engines, then now I know how to use, which is going to be pretty good. So, I'm going to start trying to make the beer form, and don't think about the first video that I tried to do, which was called how to not make a rocket. So now that I discovered how it works, hope it's gonna be easy so I could do so I'm trying to do something like this what I get for I don't know how it's gonna be or this tall ship because the project is always changing so I don't know about how it's gonna be the how it's gonna be this tall ship that it would be afforded that they're gonna build when they're gonna send it in space. So this is my first stage. Then we'll put out the coupler. Oh and I in case I don't think this is gonna go in orbit around the moon. Or I'm U N. I don't know how you spell it. But now here we put. Oh, this is maybe not gonna be a start because I already changed the project already. How I must change it in less than a year because I'm trying to make his rocket by this changing in seconds. So I think we're going to use this engine. Okay, and we'll put a big liquid fuel tank. Why would it be so small for this rocket? In any case, I hope that this will work and actually nothing else. Then I will even put the nuclear engine. Yeah. And even put the nuclear stuff. Speaking of nuclear stuff, I'm gonna put the even the nuclear batteries because why not? Really? And so then to make it only more dynamic and more resistant to friction, this is my rocket. So first, I want to make I, I want to activate these engines. This you know. But what engine is this actually? This one is no. but this one is the nuclear engine, so Then we'll have you in this. Okay, so first of all, these engines should activate. Then this should decouple, and this motor should activate. Then, okay. Now this. I want for just in case. You don't have to do this if you are doing the you don't have to do this but just for safety reasons I think that you know what's safety so and why do I always forget to put a pilot so this should be my most my best rocket till now because of the one which moves the highest because you know how they were all my other videos, just simply 
<laughs> I usually store the fuel boosters because, or engines, because I just didn't know how to they work. Now I know that instead of putting in the throttle to zero, then you put with the shift button. Put it using the higher top, and I'm gonna say that's pretty, I don't know, but. Because we are in space to skip gravity from Earth, so we don't need any. Uh, so we are in orbit. Let's see how we are orbiting. Okay, our orbit is not shrinking, and maybe we will get to the, uh, the this moon. Well, I'm saying this moon because Turbo has more moons. Don't ask me why, please. So, this is working really well, and so, they kind of spaceship did it then, or the starship, the kind of starship, I'm gonna call it spaceship because it tilted the starship and it's a spaceship, what should they call it, actually, and this it is already I'm building it and I, I'm driving it from only like eight minutes and it's really really high it's moving very fast and I don't know oh so he's not gonna visit almost any moon but maybe this unknown object Okay, this is small, but this is actually a full efficient, a pretty full efficient engine. Didn't expect that, but in any case, I'm um, not gonna be Kerbal, so I'm not gonna need any more of the parachutes. Because then we'll put a fuel tank in case without an oxidizer for the nuclear engine. And so, I don't know why the flame is looking blue right now, but that means it's really hot. Which I don't think it was, but yet it did, I, I know that this, there's a lot of frost, that's why it's so hot. That's even why it makes us, it's because it accelerate that much, and I still don't understand why uh, it's so fuel efficient and in any case now that we know that we're not gonna go back on carbon we are gonna 
take off the parachute and instead put a, a liquid fuel engine or just liquid fuel to these tanks take away the oxidizer no oxidizer can run ca kerosene i want it to be said you can run kerosene in um nuclear reactor so this is how it's gonna work so if you don't know how the nuclear engine works since it's a nuclear reactor with uh, some liquid fuel passing through it which heats it up and then like that it gets shot out at high speed and so it makes the high thrust uh, sorry about this the to my pod and I just except the rosa which sent no mask in the real space the, I don't know any other space car in any case not so I was just thinking about doing another rocket which is even pretty much even you know something similar which is the famous BFO. No, the, not the BFO, the Falcon Heavy. I think it's more. That's more. Uh, um, what do you call? Famous in the BFO, but I don't know. So, we was thinking of doing this design and do you know why i'm using this engine well really it's just because the first time that i just deactivated somehow then it was this engine so i have a good feeling about it even if you uh, better don't tell you how my first truck it would just go because it could have crashed straight back to carbon. It would destroy carbon and destroy itself. Which I don't think that no one wants. So this is my design. It might not look so familiar, but what can I do? Maybe the colors, the colors, but but that that's the big problem. So I'm gonna do so first. These engines negative, then they separate. Good. And good thing that's not bad. And then I'm gonna put just because the persons. Uh, there wasn't this problem, but aerodynamics are not a problem, so that's why I'm trying to do this to make it more organic. 
That's perfect. So my idea is to actually do kind of the falcon heavy. It's not the full falcon heavy, but the most parts all here, okay? I always forget of the throttle. Why could you make like this one two engine? I know they're different in reality, but it's even easier, wouldn't it? And like this, in any case, you could be in a different class. So, uh, what? Okay. So, mm, you could hide the photo. But then I'm gonna hire it only when the, the boosters separate because of the couple. Because like that, it would be higher. And so the speed matters more because you see friction here. So, the Falcon uh, Heavy seems successful first launch we knew that but already i had already did the project so maybe don't take it for a month if he was so slow because he was really quick it was just on the, the, the gym bundle at hand so here we go we have um let's see if we have an orbit ready Oh, this is already not gonna go back. This is gonna stay. This is gonna leave an orbit of the sun. I was thinking there was an orbit, but in any case, let's see what it does in the future. It's losing speed, and now. This is the fastest object that I ever made. So I'm close to carbon. I'm close. And this should be the, the closest port and I'm moving towards it. And this is, should be the fourth port. So the speed is increasing so now i want to exactly see what's going to be my shop speed so that i can see how quick is this object and i already have a name oh it will move very fast so i think that's for now it's time to end this video